Welcome guys, stay geek at shit, spam noted. Today in this video, I'm gonna cover the Swift Aeromancer, which is called Wind Fury or Storm Fury. And you can check out my latest video about the uh, uh, Drizzle Aeromancer, which is the specialization build. Alright, before we go on, you have to know about some common stuff, just as I mentioned in the previous video. Um, you can see the half upper part has green skills, and these green skills has to do with um, her sword, because her weapon is an umbrella and she uses this weapon as a sword and the green skills are skills that have animation of swinging her sword just like this skill or this skill and for the half of the bottom skill which are colorful like the like this these are called weather skill and the drizzle specialization aeromancer uses these skill um something like this the weather skill whirlpool whenever you land the skills like this um, she gains a meter and when this meter gains max, let's just say it gained max and you can click Z key to activate it. It spawns some aura like this and mobs that are inside these aura get some bleed damage per second and also it says that um, when the mobs are inside the aura then it gets 10% of attack decrease so it is a very good side supporting effect as well. Okay, this time let's look at what Storm Fury does. So at level 3, it says it increases the crit rate by 30% of the movement speed increase. And it increases the crit damage by 90% of the attack speed increase. So let me set this straight. I'm, I'm going to open a memo here. So let's say your movement speed and attack speed is, is capped at 140 and crit rate increases 30% of the increase amount. It's not 30% of the 140, it's 30% of 40% in this case. So if it's capped out, then what's 30% of 40? It is 12%. You get, this class can get 12% additional crit rate uh, from the level three engraving. And what is 90% of 40% for crit damage? It is 36%. So it can get 36% of crit damage as well. Another effect is that if you land the sword skill, the green skills, um, in three seconds after using another sword skill, then you get you instantly get 12% of the overall identity meter. This means that if you don't use it in three seconds, let me show you that case first. Use a skill, and after three seconds, if you use it, it only increases this much, which is very small. But this time, let me try to use it in three seconds. So, sword skill, and in three seconds, if you use it, you can see instantly it gained a lot of meter, and that is that 12%. And that's not over. There is a third option that says it decreases the range of the identity aura by 50%, but also the duration time by 50%. So the duration time of the of this identity skill, let me use it without the engraving right now, is around 10 to 12 seconds. That's the duration, and it's this much large. But if you use level 3 of the Storm Fury, then it will everything will get halved. You can see that the range is halved, and also the duration time is falling two times faster. So that's like around 5 to 6 seconds. In exchange of that, in exchange of those you know, negativities, when your party is in this aura, in this small aura, then they get 12% attack speed and 12% movement speed as well. That's what is written. But no longer, it does not decrease the attack of the enemy. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a give and take, right? And also, by the way, this 12% attack speed and movement speed increase, it also applies to yourself, to the Aeromancer. Okay, this time let me go over to the relic gear and stats. Um, there are so many builds when it comes to Storm Fury Aeromancer, but if I narrow it down to three, there's a uh, Dominion with max swiftness and sub stat. I mean sub crit. Um, second one is Nightmare with half and half, half crit and half swiftness, and third one is Hallucination with max swiftness and sub crit. So the advantage of running the six Dominion is that it has the highest ceiling because you can spam the skills. But the thing is, if the pilot, the player has a skill issue, like if the player is literally bad, uh, not using the skills in time, then it will 
literally be weaker than any other build. So it has high potential, high ceiling, but at the same time, it has very low floor as well. Uh, it has a big gap. So that's what that is. And it is not recommended to use before 1540 when you uh, start to get the ancient gear because uh, it's not recommended. Yeah, you need high level gem and high quality of accessories to run that Dominion build. Okay, second one is Nightmare. Nightmare has high potential, um, but it has low crit rate. So if it crits, it does a lot of damage. That's why it's called high potential. If it doesn't crit, then it does low damage. So it's it has a risk. Yeah, and last one, this is the one that I'm going to cover in this video, by the way, is Hallucination Swift uh, and Sub Crit Stat, Max Swiftness. This one is the most stabilized build so far that's introduced in, in KR community. And this one, like a lot of people say, it fits the concept of the Storm Fury because Storm Fury is a consistent DPS, you know, anyways. Um, and some of you guys might ask, if you run Hallucination as a full swiftness, don't you have a banner problem? There is a way to overcome that. I will talk about that later. Okay, this time, let's go over to the engraving. Storm Fury, Raid Captain, Adrenaline, Grudge, Hitmaster is the strongest build for Hallucination and Full Swiftness set. And if you're looking for 5 times 3 plus 1, then that one is better to be the Aether Predator, like this. Yeah. And when you're aiming for a 4 times 3, uh, you fix the Storm Fury, Adrenaline, Grudge, and you pick either uh, one from Raid Captain or Headmaster. As you can see, just like Drizzle Aeromancer, uh, the Storm Fury Aeromancer is also, it also runs Headmaster as one of the core engraving because her skills, most of, like majority of her skills does not have back or head attack. Okay, the skills. Since Aeromancer is not released in the West yet, there's no English name of the skills, right? So I'm gonna translate by my own. First one can be called Gust. It throws the umbrella like this. It's a crit synergy skill. The party synergy of the Aeromancer, by the way, is a crit rate 10%. And it's consistent. Second one decreases the the speed of the umbrella so that it can last the party synergy longer. The rune you run conviction rune. Second one is called whirlpool and this is a weather skill. You can see that other skills are all green which means uh, it's a umbrella the sword skill but this one is a weather skill and the reason why you're running one weather skill in this build is because the rest of the the last sword skill, uh, which is this skill right here that I did not go for, this one is a retaliation skill, which is not preferred. So that's why you have to find the last you know skill spot, the slot from the weather skill, and this skill is preferred from majority of the players because uh, it gives a decent amount of the identity meter and it does decent damage and it has a destruction rate. And also, it has a high stagger. So anyways, uh, this skill looks like this. Whirlwind. Whirlpool. All right. Um, and for the for the tripod, first one decreases the mana consumption. Second one and third one increases damage. For this rune, uh, you go for judgment. Okay, the next one is called open the umbrella. It dashes toward with the umbrella like that. It's a counter skill and... Um, if you look into the tripod, this one gives a 10% shield, like that. Second one gives you back mana, and this is the reason why uh, you will not have a mana suffer, like mana lack, um, even without running the Nightmare set. This one increases damage. For the rune, quick recharge. You can run Heroic, the purple one, if you don't have this. Next one is called Pounce. It's a combo attack where you can hit twice but normally you use it only once like this yeah and if you see the tripod same tripod it gives you 10% shield for three seconds and this one increases damage for the rune you run bleed rune okay I have to go over very important thing before I go to the rest of the four skills which are all DPS skill by the way um the skills that I mentioned right now ex except for this one are not DPS skill. So this one is a crit party synergy and these two are not DPS as well, but you don't really, you can't really tell what's the purpose of having these two skills then, right? Here's what. 
this tripod that gives you 10% shield, the main purpose is not just to give you the shield. If you read uh, the tripod of all these other four DPS skills, they all have a common tripod. And let me read what these do. If you have the shield that was generated from these two skills, then it increases damage by 95%. You get what's happening, right? Let's, re let's read this skill. This one. If you have the shield that was generated from the from these previous skills, then the damage of this skill will increase by 60%. All four of these DPS skills are like that, that I'm going to go over. So, you know the gimmick, right? The gimmick, the mech of the, the Storm Fury Aeromancer is you pop the shield, the 3 seconds duration shield, by using these two skills alternatively, and then you use the DPS skill to do more damage. So let's go to the, go over to the next skill. This one is called um, Razor Wind. Yeah, this one this skill is called Razor Wind. It looks like this. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? So for the tripod, uh, this one increases damage. This one increases damage when you have the shield from the previous you know skills. And this one increases crit damage by a lot. Yeah, and this is one of the reasons that hallucination is actually good since it increases you know a lot of crit rate yeah there are like uh some there are some skills that increases a lot of crit damage uh like this skill okay and for the rune uh you want to run gale wind next one is called wind needle wind needle it looks like this yeah for the tripod, um, this one increases damage while you have the shield from the previous skills. This one increases damage, and this one increases damage as well. For the rune, Gale Wind. Next one is called um, Driving Wind. Yeah, if I try to translate, Driving Wind. And it, it looks like this. It's a combo skill. For the tripod, uh, this one increases damage when you have the shield from the previous skill. This one increases crit damage by a lot. This one increases damage. For the rune, Gale Wind. And last one, this is also a DPS skill. It's called um, Twister Walking. Twister Walking. Kinda cute, right? It's a DPS skill, by the way. For the tripod, um, it, this one increases attack speed. This one increases the damage when you have the shield from the previous skills. And this one increases damage as well. For the rune, um, like you can run any rune, um, but it's recommended to use the, the purified rune. For the awakening, you use the first one that makes a gigantic whirlpool. This skill right here. And after you land the skill, you can move around. This is the reason why you, you why you run this uh, in this build, because swift build um, has a lot of skills that comes back like super fast, right? So you want to rotate all the skills whenever it's on. And the thing is, if you run the second skill, this one right here, that slashes a lot. You get animation locked. Like you can't do anything for that much, you know, long time. So that's the reason why uh, for the Storm Fury, unlike the Drizzle, you, you want to prefer this one that allows you to, you know, cast other skills after the animation just like that see you can still cast the attack like this okay now the gems you normally run six attack gems and five cdr gems for the attack gems you run identity skill um whirlpool razor wind wind needle wind drive and twister walking yeah for your cooldown reduction pounce whirlpool razor wind wind needle uh wind drive and that's it okay finally the rotation the most important part is that shield tripod from these two skill uh this one open the umbrella and this one pounce yeah and the other four dps skill has tr common tripod that increases the damage when you have the shield from these skill the shield has to be generated from these two skills uh the shields from like other factors like from your supporter or some battle item that does not count at all. 
All right, so let's say that you use the skill, the DPS skill raw like this. So that did, okay, Uh, it has to crit, let's see. So that did like 9 mil, right? 9 mil. Uh, let's say that you use it after you generate the shield by using one of these skill. Like this, you have the shield and in 3 seconds you use the DPS skill, it does twice more damage. So this is how it goes. Now you guys understand the mech of the Storm Fury. So you use generate damage generate damage generate damage generate and damage and so on and so forth that's how it goes okay i have something to talk about the identity as well um do you guys remember that this storm fury gives you 12 percent attack speed and movement speed not just to you to your party um so for instance let's say that my swiftness is this much and it increases up to 130% movement speed, right? If you activate your Z, then it caps, right? Because 129 plus 12 is cap. The problem is, you might, you guys might think, then what's the point of running full swiftness? Because you can compensate this much um, movement, like this much gap easily with the Swamp of Yearning from the supporter. That is true. But the study is already made that, okay, let's say that you don't have the max swiftness like this, like lower swiftness then half of the time you will be in this mode uh where you will get you know high efficiency of the raid captain and other half of the time you will be under this mode like non-identity mode and you will lose a lot of effic efficiency from the raid captain so compared to this compared to this it turns out that uh, it does it actually does more damage by having full swiftness even though the swiftness gets wasted uh, while you're on this mode. Why? Because swiftness also provides cooldown reduction. That's why. And cooldown reduction matters a lot on Storm Fury build. So if I show you the general rotation, Conviction, Chris Synergy, Judgment, and Awakening, Shield, DPS, Shield, DPS, Shield, DPS, activate Z, press energy, shield, DPS. And when the skill is coming back, use shield skill, DPS again, shield, DPS, conviction judgment, shield, DPS, shield, DPS, and activate Z, so on and so forth. Okay, anyways, that's it for today, and hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, then please smash the like, and the most important part come to Twitch channel and give me some money. I need a lot of money. Stay Giga Chat, spam no dead.